Tiki Tech Enduro Adjustable Paddle from Stubbard. Um, I'm Ruben from Stubboarder and I'm going to be reviewing this paddle. This is Stubbard's entry level to intermediate all round well balanced paddle designed for all round paddling. So from some surf to some race. It's available in five sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, which is this one, and extra large. Starboard, if you're unsure of the brand, are one of the leading SUP brands in the world at the moment. Um, they've been into SUP since the beginning, um, and they've got a good pedigree behind them, so they usually make good quality products at reasonable prices. And they're available at all good retailers. So they do this paddle in five sizes, as I said. This is the large blade, which comes in at 575 square centimeters, or 89 square inches. It adjusts from 4 foot 10 as its smallest setting to 6 foot 9 as its longest setting. So generally you'd say it's not a paddle for a very tall paddler, it's a paddle for an average sized paddler. The construction of the paddle, the shaft itself is glass, it's a polymer filament wound shaft and the blade is a PVC core with um, a glass outer and ABS edge and sometimes you see the same paddle in different graphics. They do a red, a blue, as well as a green here. The handle is a plastic handle, and then the adjusters they use are their own starboard. Um, you've seen them similar on the market on other products. Release clip there, a starboard adjuster. And it retails at 155. Okay, when I first saw this paddle, I thought it was carbon. I even picked it up and thought it felt like a heavy carbon, okay? It is amazing how good you can make glass look like carbon. Um, the weight of the paddle, it's about 700 grams, so it's not as light as a carbon, obviously, um, but it is fairly light for what it is. The finish of the blade and the finish of the paddle shaft is second to none, it's perfect. Um, the graphics are funky on it, I like the way it's all quite funky, they've got some sort of starboard um, tiki man across there. The blade shape, is exactly the same as their expensive carbon enduro range. Um, I paddled with a starboard um, enduro surf paddle and uh, in a full carbon and it, this paddle is exactly the same. Um, there might be a slight bit of thickness difference but it's nothing you can really really notice. So if somebody wanted to do all round paddling it really does tick those boxes very well. I say this is a large size so it's better to medium to heavy riders. If you're smaller or larger you would look at the other sizes either side. So it works very well in the water. Um, it's very easy to use because it's got a nice little kick at the end here as well. It catches the water well, and it's also quite thin in the, in the midsection, so it releases the water well. It's got the standard sort of dihedral that they have on all the starboard range, and the angle is a similar to that as well. So it's a very nice, comfortable paddle. You haven't got to concentrate on paddling. You can just put the paddle in the water, pull back, and it'll be there, and it won't flutter or, or strike around in the water. So it's a very easy paddle to paddle with. The shaft is absolutely fine too. It doesn't flex too much and it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not too stiff. It's about right. For my body weight, an average sort of rider, 75 kg, 85 kg, it's gonna be perfect. If you're a bigger guy, but then generally you're gonna be taller, so you're gonna to have to look towards a longer paddle anyway. So for an average weight rider, this sort of blade, being in glass, is absolutely fine. It doesn't, it, it doesn't flex too much, it's perfect. Another thing I like the Starboard are doing is they're looking after their customer aftercare. So there's lots of things on the paddle, like saying a line here, they've written on here, tighten screw if handle becomes loose. All that sort of stuff just makes a difference because they've, you know, they're looking after you when you bought the product. They want you to enjoy using the product. They want you to understand how to maintain your product. Um, all the numbers on it seem to be staying. This paddle's been used a fair bit and the numbers haven't worn off at all, so that's good. The plastic handle's fine. There's no need to have a glass handle on a shaft. In fact, what you'll find is a glass even carbon is heavier than a plastic handle. So a plastic handle is absolutely fine and does the job adequately. Any downsides to this paddle? Um, price is fine, paddles perfectly. There's only one thing I've noticed, and it's a minor, minor thing, sometimes when you're paddling, because it's got an alignment section here, there's a little groove, okay? Sometimes when you're paddling it, you happen to paddle it, you'll paddle it, and you'll get your hand just on this little groove, and that to rub on your finger a little bit. It's a tiny, tiny thing to consider. It's not something to not decide to not buy this paddle. The subwater verdict of the Starboard TT Tech Enduro Adjustable Paddle. A great looking paddle at a really good price point that's been well thought out, great markings and um, slider and adjustable unit. 
The only thing to look out for if you're super tall, maybe plus 6'3", you might want to look at a different paddle because it's not really long enough. Apart from that, it's a good looking product that does a really good price point.